everybody and welcome to the first tutorial on our channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get ringtones on your iPod, like custom ringtones for music or whatever. So, the only thing is they have to be 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure they do. Mm. I don't know, it didn't work whenever I tried to do one shorter, but who knows, you could try. First thing you're going to need to do is open up computer, which you just come over here and search if on Windows 8. This should work on Windows 7. You might already have this done or whatever, but on Windows 8, that's what I have. I've never had Windows 7. But you want to go to view up here. Oh, if this is in here, I think it just it might be like this. Well, yeah, it'd still be there. Just go to view, show and hide and check file name extensions. Because we're going to need to edit that, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how to do it in Windows 7, but just go look up another video, I guess, on how to do that. But after you do that, just open up iTunes and find this song that you want to fix or make shorter. So I'm going to do this when I renamed it because I don't know the actual name of the song or whatever. I don't know. Okay. So here. This is what I'm going to so, if you notice, whenever I started playing it, started right at the time I wanted to. So, you want to right click, you listen to it wherever you want it to start, and keep the time up there. Get info, you're going to go to options. And right here, the start time and the stop time. You just have to add 30 seconds. But, say it's a little like before, and there's like something you don't want before, you just. Like, say this, and it starts perfectly where you want it. You have to add that here, or else it won't. I'm almost positive it won't work. You could try it, but it didn't work when I did it, so. But I'm going to keep it like that. And then once you do that, you press OK. You can listen to it if you want. So, and then after you listen to it, it's all good. You want to create AAC version. Oh, it'll make that noise. And I'll create it right here. All you want to do is drag it onto your desktop, right click, rename M M4R. Once you do that, then you're going to want to drag it into your ringtone, your tone sync. But whenever I went to do that the first time, that tones folder wasn't there. So what you have to do is go here, preferences, and in here, you want to check tones or whatever you want in there. So if I unchecked, okay, you can't uncheck music, but you can, you know, do whatever. I just, anyways, just check tones. So it's there. You press OK, and it'll be right here. You want to go into tones, and just drag this in there, and that, sh and then you. Make sure you have your iPod plugged in. You go to iPod and then you press sync. Now sometimes that you then whenever you go to switch your ringtone, it won't be in there. Sometimes. I don't know if it's all the time, but what you need to do, you might want to just do this every time, is drag this over. There's that. You just want to plop it right in there. And it'll do that thing. And if it doesn't like sync it automatically, you just go to uh, oh text message. Wait a minute. Okay. And, um, just, you know, sync, okay, you know, whatever. And that's how you do that. Um, any, if you have any questions, just, you know, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. Let it try to answer it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.